morning. Hey. Whew. I'm exhausted. All night? Yeah. Maybe I'll have a coffee today. Good morning, Primitive. I am now heating up. Goddamn machine. Why are you touching me? You kidding me? Please stand by. I am now rinsing my tubes. Please fill a water tank. More demanding than a goddamn newborn. My bin is full. Empty the used coffee grounds. This is the fun part, where the water always goes in your shoe. Please stand by. Just make sure you put it in the composter. Yeah, whatever. Thanks. And of course, my shoe is now full of water. Did you compost the grounds? Piece of crap. You know what? I'm over it. I don't even want a coffee now. Maybe I'll try a cup. Yeah, good luck with that. Good morning, Boise. How would you like your espresso? Coming right up. Thanks, Joe. Joe? Go to spare six hours, a truckload of veggies, and some creative flair in the kitchen? Good, you're gonna need it. Hi everyone, and welcome to The Real G. This is the green chef portion of the show. I am joined by Dave Anderson, who is executive chef of Madeline here in Los Angeles. So tell me, what are we creating today? Well, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a wild mushroom strudel, the braised root vegetables. Okay, wonderful. Okay, this is French cooking, so stock cubes don't really cut it. Dave made his stock from scratch using Spanish onion, carrots, celery, garlic, parsley, and thyme. I've been working on this for the past couple hours, and this is just okay. a really nice, uh, intense, flavorful vegetable stock. Okay. You're reducing liquids down, and you're taking the flavors and just making them stronger and stronger. Don't congratulate yourself too much on getting through the stock. There is plenty more to come. For the vegetable ragu, Dave chose carrots, butternut squash, turnips and potatoes, braising each one individually. Yes, I said individually. We want to get it in there? Yep. All right, and we're going to start it out now. Salt and pepper, uh -huh. they're your best friends, especially if you don't wait until the very end to add them. Oh, okay. Okay. Learning here. And yeah. any particular order with the vegetables, you just... No, no we're just... We're cooking them all separate, so they're all going to go... But if you add salt while you're going, it's going to develop the flavor. If you wait until the end, it's just going to make it salty. Salty, ah. Yeah. Now we're going to add just a little bit at a time. This is okay. just like risotto. Okay. We want to absorb that up before we add more. And I'm also looking for the texture. Mm -hmm. I want to keep this shape, but I want it to be um, just just till it gets soft. Because okay. if I let this go too long, you it's... going to turn to mush? Yeah. <laughs> we want to put it on a nice flat surface like this and spread it out. Okay. We want to stop the heat, and that's how you do it right there. Goes into, goes into this whole cooking cake. Yeah, well, we're kind of thinking about it, I guess. Hmm. Butternut squash completed. Just a friendly reminder that you must now go on to braise all the remaining vegetables individually. Let's start work looking at the uh, next component, the, uh, the actual mushroom strudel. Sounds good. Wow. Okay. That's, that says autumn, doesn't it, really? It really does, especially these guys. I love these guys. Chanterelles. So, talk me through them. They're the chanterelles. Chanterelles, mm -hmm. shiitakes, oyster mushrooms. And wow. you can use... How big are those You can use one kind of mushroom. You mm -hmm. can use six kind of mushrooms on this. I like to mix them. The shiitakes, you don't want to eat the stem. Oh, really? It's chewy. Yeah. Oh, really? When you cook it, it gets chewy. Okay. So we're going to do the chanterelles first because they're, they're our favorite. Okay, don't trip out with the mushrooms. This part is reasonably straightforward. Of the three different kinds, the chanterelles must be rinsed thoroughly, while the shiitake and oyster can be roughly torn. So we're going to hit it with olive oil again. We're going to start this with shallots. Okay, what you're okay. doing is you're releasing the oils and the flavors of the shallot into the olive oil. So, okay. And that'll spread it around better when we get in with the mushrooms. Okay. So you don't need to go all day there. You don't want to okay. Wow, that looks great. Again, with French cooking, we're just intensifying these flavors. Right. And we can okay. go on a nice, pretty low heat. Yeah. We're going to let that just cook for a while like that. Okay. Stir it every few minutes and you're fine. Uh -huh. I put some walnuts in okay. the oven and we're toasting those. We need a few more minutes because we're gonna flavor this before we put in the strudel with some toasted walnuts and some fresh thyme. I'm just gonna chop up the walnuts a little bit. We just wanna chop these up so that they're not gigantic chunks. So we're gonna get a little bit of that in there and we're gonna get some fresh thyme in there. So we're ready to roll out phyllo. Okay, this looks like the fun part when it all comes together. Yeah, we put it in all right. the strudel. We're gonna do about probably five layers 
And we're just gonna hit it with a little bit of olive oil. And you can do six, you can do seven, you can do whatever you want. And now we're gonna take the uh, the duck salad. You want, we're basically gonna leave there and there. Uh-huh, so we're you can roll it up. Fill it in and we're gonna roll this up, yeah. Okay. We're gonna fold that over. Yeah. And then we're gonna roll. Nicely done. And then we're gonna hit it with a little bit of oil because we don't want it to be dry on the outside. What temperature do you set the oven? 350. Okay. And now we are gonna slice it. And this should go in the oven probably about 20 minutes. Okay. It'll brown up a little bit, it'll get crispy. We're gonna just cut pieces about three quarters. Three quarters of an inch, I'd say so. Yeah, That's maybe nice. a little thicker than that. And that's wow, it. it's coming together, fantastic. That's about 20 minutes. Okay, I've set my watch. And then we uh, are set. Okay, stay with us when it all comes together and we'll finally get to eat our mushroom strudels. All right, almost there, but what's French cooking without a sauce or two? First up, celery root puree followed by a beet reduction. Strudel is in the oven, it's just about yes. to come out. The final part of this recipe is to yeah. make the sauce. So this is celery root yeah, that you've just Yeah, this is gonna be a celery up. root puree. It's okay. kind of two sauces we're gonna do here, but this okay. is just a quick one. We're gonna sweat the these for a minute and then we're gonna put some water in there and then we're gonna boil them and simmer them and then we're gonna puree it with a little bit of water okay celery root celery root that's been we made it it's yeah. we, we sitting in it water a bit of salt and pepper it's nice and soft uh -huh. so we're just gonna go into our uh, Vitamix blender here I like to start on a nice low speed okay but then I crank it look at that wow so you want to get that super smooth no velvety lumps. and we're gonna do the beets okay which is gonna be the other component to the sauce okay we're gonna juice these beets real quick we're gonna reduce this probably about in half. Okay. And uh, one thing that makes uh, beets really happy is a little bit of vinegar. I'm just gonna add a little wow. bit of that. It's getting warm. We're gonna put this in here. Now this is called an emulsion. Now how long would the beets on to get it this reduced? Uh, well, we went on a pretty low heat mm -hmm. for probably about 20 minutes. Okay, and now what is this? This is earth balance, very much like butter. And we're just uh -huh. gonna put a little bit in there and we're gonna just froth it up just a little bit and then okay. we're ready to plate. We're gonna pull the strudel. So now they have been in there for 20 minutes. About 20, yeah. Yeah, let's see how they turn out. Yeah, wow. Cool. And that's the that's idea is they're nice and crispy. That's good. Right, so we're gonna take a little bit of this yummy root vegetables that we did, make a little mound of it. Okay. You don't have to go huge. Celery root puree. So oh, yeah. Working off the front of the spoon. Worry. All right, so that's, that's probably enough. That looks good. And then we have. Oh. Why not, right? Very nice. And there you go. Voila! And there's the mushroom <laughs> strudel with the uh, braised root vegetables. Amazing. Look at that. All that's left now is the eating part, and I'm sure any moment now, Boise's going to come and probably eat mine. Okay, I'm giving it one last chance. Who? Joe? Yes, Joe. Can you knock yourself out? Okay, Joe. What seems to be the problem here? Sarah, you know what the problem is. Your coffee machine, just give me coffee. This is too important for a primitive. You will screw this up. What are you talking? Why are you even talking? You are a machine. I am sorry you are not worthy. Goodbye. I'm done drinking coffee.